Hey everybody, it's MC Trey here, um, talking to you about turning your passion into a professional activity. Um, so we'll be mainly focusing on music, but the tips that I share will be able to be utilized for any creative practice, um, whether it be, you know, designing t-shirts, whether it be performance, um, whatever it is, you know, whether it be theatre, writing a book, all of that stuff. So it's, it's about utilising your creative passions and turning that into a professional activity. So for you guys and gals, you've been writing your music and you're ready to take that next step. So you've been told, yep, yeah, you've got something good here. Um, the world needs to hear this stuff, you know, and it's important that you start putting it out. The first thing you need to think about is your brand, you know, and I know for a lot of artists, we don't want to have that conversation about business and branding. You know, we just want to make music. You just want to get up in the morning or in the afternoon or at night and do your writing, go to the studio, create your works and put it out there, you know. Um, the good thing is you can hire people to help you do this but it's important for you to know what you want and what you're putting out there you know what i mean it's almost like you've got to package all your creativity into um i don't want to say a box we'll say onto a platform and then make it uh, possible for the audiences to engage in or as the business uh, world would say, to consume. So first step is to think about your brand, you know, and when you think about your brand, your brand is, is your identity, you know what I mean? And it's it's valuable that that's the kind of stuff that you want to keep hold of, you know. Um, it's intangible, which, you know, but it can also be tangible as well. So you can touch it and it can, it, or you can't, you know, it's... Um, material and it can be non-material so thinking about your brand you got to ask yourself why am i making music you know so when setting the foundation for your brand identity the idea is to communicate the following as easily and as clearly as possible so the questions that you need to ask yourself are who you are what you do what do you stand for who do you appeal to? Who's going to listen to your music? Who's going to, you know, buy your stuff or come to your shows or use your services? And what makes you different from everybody else? You know, so these are five key questions that are very important to ask yourself. You know, who are you? Um, to be honest, most people probably don't ask themselves that question. You know, we don't walk around every day going, who am I? You know, but for artists and creatives, this is an important thing, important practice, because we've always got to be looking at, you know, who we are, what we're doing, what we're creating, because that's part of the works that we put out into the world. Right. So it's important to always reflect and ask who you are, what you do, what you stand for, who you appeal to and what makes you different from everybody else. OK. So, so there's some of the questions to ask yourself. So when we think about brand identity and image, like what is that, you know? What, what's your brand? I mean, you can think about a lot of successful brands out there, you know, like multinational who aren't even musicians. Like you could think of some right now. Say, say it if you know. Um, you know, like Coca-Cola, That that's um, not one of my favorite brands, but they're everywhere, you know, everyone knows when they see that logo, they can associate that logo with the product. They know what it is. It's well known, you know, in Australia, we have big brands like Kmart, you know, everyone knows yet yeah, what K when they see the Kmart logo or hear the Kmart name, they say, yep, yeah, um, I know that brand. I know that store. I know the type of experience I'm going to get when I go there, you know, affordable items. You can get it, everything you want in Kmart might not last long, but 
it's affordable and I can go there at midnight I can go there at two in the morning you know which a lot of people enjoy and I know I can go shopping 24 hours a day for most of the Kmart stores so that's the Kmart brand you know that's been built when you look at um, you know more of the high-end brands say like a, a clothing fashion label like Gucci we know that okay it's a certain quality it's a certain style and it's um you know it's it's put it's known to be worn by certain artists and musicians and and people with a certain status and a certain profile and power and money you know that's associated with gucci so they've been these three different labels have all been successful in thinking about the brand the image and the experience that they want their consumers to have and they're doing quite well so back to what is your brand what is your identity what is your image you know you need to think about that and there are different parts different components of that brand examples are first thing your stage name your artist name you know what will that be what will that name tell people when they hear your stage name they will start to form their idea of who you are and what style of music or what style of works you do so that's important you know um then there's also your logo so you have your name and then you have your logo associated with your name so that that's quite important that that links as well you have your website because that's your online presence you have of course the music that you're going to put out and you have to think about what style of music that's going to be you know and it's um common for musicians to experiment and try different styles but over time you develop your signature style of music so that people will listen to it and go i know that flow i know that accent i know that style of music you know <coughs> so people will know what that is so another important component is your bio your bio lists you know who you are tells your story what music have you released what shows have you done so this is important when um you're starting out to do as many shows as as possible you know like um at street uni does a lot of shows you know there's local festivals your other centers your community days all of that very important you know and you list those in your bio you have to also think about your physical experience what do you look like you know are you going to be like an unshaven kind of rough style artist or you're going to be a clean cut kind of super slick rock up on stage with suits are you going to be the street person representing you know your lifestyle whatever that is you know but you decide what that is and that's all part of your brand and your identity it's important to think about the style like i said the style of um that you wear in your photo shoots in your music videos and also the colors you use you know so if you look at um say metal groups heavy metal groups and then you look at a gospel group and if you look at the clothing and the styles the music videos it's going to be totally different styles but we know that you know what the metal groups wearing and projecting is a part of their identity and then what the gospel musical group is wearing and presenting is part of their identity so that's how we distinguish between that so this is why you know your identity is important it helps people um recognize who you are and what you do and what you stand for you know and that also includes your social media posts you know like what are you going to be posting about if you're a hip-hop artist that's a positive conscious kind of uplifting motivational inspirational artist then that's the content that you're going to be putting out on social media it won't work if you're this positive uplifting artist and then you're um dissing every tom dick and harry that you see and start online battles and wars you know online it it contradicts who you um it contradicts what your branding is and you know who you are the other thing is the artists that you work with who you collaborate with who you associate yourself with is important you know because 
you might be you know a certain type of artist and you might collaborate with someone and you might think is this going to benefit me you know or is it going to bring me down you know it's important to think about your associations you know um those associations can also come to um you know say uh clothing brands you're you might you might be this positive uplifting artist um and then this clothing brand that you know um we know is associated with slave labor wants to sponsor you so you need to think about do I want to associate myself with a brand or a clothing company that I know pays someone one cent an hour in another in a developing country? So these are the things that you want to think about, you know. Um, and of course, your stage presence in your performance. Do you want to be like a heavy metal kind of public enemy go all out mosh pit style band or performer on stage? Or do you want to be like um, acoustic guitar chilled with DJ style vibe in your shows? You know, you need to think about that. Do you want to do like a full kind of tech um, technology, you know, multimedia presentation and have screens? Or do you want to keep it just um, low key and organic with just you and the music? This is all the stuff that we need to think about. Now, it might sound like a lot. Um, it, it is a lot, but luckily you have time. And it's important to think about these things in the beginning of your career rather than down the end. Because if you think about it now, you'll be able to make better decisions when you get asked, you know. Um, I, You know, as a female MC, my kind of, um, my branding and my identity is associated with my my cultural identity being from the Pacific Islands. So whenever I do a photo shoot or a video or or even on stage, I ensure that I have um, um, items that, you know, reflect my Pacific cultural identity. Example, this piece of fabric here, which is, you know, um, from Fiji and it's a, a Pacific design. This is like our graffiti from the islands, you know. Um, and I always ensure that I have that, you know, I, I also have it tattooed on me. But when I do my artwork, I might have, um, you know, some of this design on the artwork. I also like to, you know, represent the areas that I live in. So this is like an album that I did with my Jupiter and Nick Toth and we had a silhouette of Sydney there. So, you know, when people pick up the CD, they go, oh, they're Sydney people, you know, and then bit of artwork where, you know, I wore a top that one of my friends made because I didn't want to support multinational. I wanted to support my creative artists, you know, and with my history in um, graffiti, as well you know i incorporate graffiti art and pacific art in my aesthetics and in my design so you know that's that's part of um the branding that i helped create for myself but i wouldn't have been able to do that if i didn't ask myself some questions you know so these are the questions that i encourage you to ask yourself you know tips to building your brand you know, number one, think about why you make the music, you know, why, why is it that you want your story to get out to the world, you know, um, and then when you're setting the foundation of your brand and identity, the idea is to communicate um, the following as easily and clearly as possible. So this is what you want to communicate. Number one, who you are, what you do, what you stand for who you appeal to and what makes you different from everyone else. So five questions, who you are, what you do, what you stand for, who you appeal to and what makes you different from everyone else. So I'll put these five questions up on um, online so you guys can access that and take some time out to have a think, ask the questions, you know, speak to your peers, speak to people that you vibe with, other artists, get their feedback, you know. It's important that um, that you also get feedback from others as well because the people that you work with and collaborate with and live with and hang out with will not, will be able to feed back as well to you, you know, about um, what you're doing and all of that. Um, there's also what they say when you're thinking about branding, 
there are three E's, you know, enabling, elevating and enriching. So your brand has to do those three things. Enabling meaning your brand should feel simple, effortless and accessible for anyone who is attracted to it, either directly or through your music, you know. So you want it to you want people to look at it or experience and feel like, yep, I know that I can access that I relate to that, you know, it's enabling. The second one is elevating your brand should create an experience, you know. Um, so think about the colors, the music, the style of music, the story that you're telling and the vibe, you know, example, like when, when I get up in the morning, you know, I want to listen to some upbeat kind of get me out of bed. I'm going to have an amazing day type track, you know, like I don't want to have a chilled, you know, relaxed. I don't want to listen to a chilled out song. I want to get, I want to listen to something that's going to get me out of bed and feel good about what's going on and to help start my day so you know think about the experience that your music your product your service is going to give to um the listener or the person consuming or engaging with your music or your service the third thing is it should be enriching and fans should feel like that they are part of the brand that you represent and i talked about this before about how people you know they they want to feel like they're a part of something so this your brand should resonate with the people that you want to resonate with so just say if your market is teenagers then you're thinking about songs that teenagers are going to want to listen to if your market uh is going to be adults then you're not going to be talking about TikTok. you know you're not going to be talking about you're going to be talking about grown folk things so but for most of you listening to this, I know that your target market is your peers as well. So a lot of young people. So the things that you're writing about and going through, you know, it's most likely that other young people are going to be wanting to, you know, vibe with what you're creating as well and, and um, understand what you're writing and are drawn to it. You know, so remember the three E's, enabling, elevating and enriching for the three E's. A lot of um, information, a lot of content, but I'm going to put this stuff up online as well so you can access it. So your, um, um, I would encourage you to, you know, watch it again, take your notes, ask yourself the questions, and then feel free to message myself or any of the other um, crew that you're connected to. Um, you know, send us your cues and... I can help answer that and then we can help build, you know, because like I said in the beginning, you've got your creative stuff down, you've got your music down. Now it's about the next step, you know, and, and trying to figure out your why. Why are you doing this and creating your identity, you know? Um, we can think of a, a, um, a successful local uh, brand you know, a group that probably didn't start out thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to create a brand and we're going to do this, you know, this way. Um, you know, one, one, four have been quite successful in engaging so many artists and so many people in the country and around the world, you know, and they did get some assistance, you know, they have a, a very good manager and they have some creative mentors as well um, that have been in the industry that helped guide them but what they present and who they are that's all them you know and um, they're basically just projecting their lifestyles their stories and their experience into their music and putting it out there you know and that's the brand that they've created you know it's real it's raw and it resonates with so many young people and young adults around the world so they're doing that quite well and you know it tells us that if you've got a story you know that you that you're dying to share feel free to share it because odds are there are people out there that want to listen to it as well you know and the key here is make sure it's your story you know be you we don't need another one for we don't need another jay-z we don't need you know another um eve be you and and that's the most important thing here find out who you are and how you can you know develop that to complement your music your art your product your service whatever it is okay so hope that helped feel free to get in touch 
and I look forward to more conversations. That's MC Trey and I'm saying peace.